the cover of night, one of the world's smallest and rarest cats is on the move. The stealthy stalker, seldom seen by humans, is extremely shy and hides at the slightest disturbance. It is also predominantly nocturnal and very small, making it even more difficult to spot. What is this elusive and secretive animal? The black-footed cat. This tiny feline is the scarcest of Africa's cats. Occurring in South Africa, Namibia and Botswana, they prefer arid, semi-desert and savanna habitats. Listed as vulnerable, it is believed that less than 10,000 breeding individuals remain in the wild. Yet very little is known about the private lives of these cats. This female is part of a long-term ongoing study on the species by the Black-Footed Cat Working Group. She has been named Nyane and with the aid of telemetry tracking, researchers hope to learn more about her feline secrets as she lives her life on the open savannas. At the height of summer, the grasslands provide an abundance of food. Although she may look like a domestic tabby, she is far from tame, and unlike a domestic cat, she has to hunt in order to survive. Black-footed cats hunt small prey, primarily rodents and birds. Individuals have been known to travel up to 8 kilometers in a night in search of a decent meal. And a single individual can consume over 3,000 rodents in a single year. Any birds that are flushed are also fair game, such as this wattled plover, which met an untimely demise. Female cats typically have a home range of around 10 square kilometers. Male cats can have up to 22 square kilometers of territory. This leaves plenty of options when it comes to finding a den and food. Black-footed cats are most active at night and solitary by nature. Apart from mating, the exception to the solitary rule is when they have babies. Nyane has given birth to two kittens, almost exact replicas of herself at the height of the summer breeding season. The cats use abandoned artfark or spring hair burrows as their shelters and have a network of these throughout their territory. Hidden cameras help us to observe the small family when they're in the den. Nyane uses these burrows to keep her babies hidden and protected. Burrows are the perfect places to shelter from the elements and the kittens have a strong instinct to stay hidden and out of sight. Nyane rotates the burrows within her territory and frequently moves locations with her kittens. This helps the small family to avoid predators and explore fresh hunting grounds. With two kittens to feed, Nyane makes the most of every opportunity to hunt. When she heads off into the savannas, instinct takes over and the babies use their small size and excellent camouflage to stay out of sight. If Nyane has been gone for too long, the kittens mew for her in the hope that she will hear them and return. But the cats are not defenseless. In folklore, they are called anthill tigers and can be extremely fierce if provoked. This is a good reputation to have in the wild. Bigger predators, such as brown hyena or jackals, are a very real threat and would kill these small cats easily. Grooming 
and taking catnaps are regular activities, as is basking in the warmth of the sun. While the kittens are still small and reliant on their mother for milk, most activities for the family are centered around the burrow, with it being most active at night or at dusk and dawn. This is a favorite time for relaxing and bonding with each other. And of course, they tuck into some nourishing milk at every opportunity. Some burrows are favored more than others. And this particular location is a very popular one for the kittens. Our hidden cameras do not stay hidden for long. These cats are extremely observant and inspect all items of interest very closely. Playing is an important part of the kittens' lives. Through play, they learn all they need to know about the art of survival. Once they're old enough, they go out to hunt with their mother. Her transfer of hunting knowledge is essential for their survival and she is an excellent hunter. Stealthy stalking is something that only comes with practice. While out with their mother, the kittens inspect everything with which they come into contact. There is also always time to practice ambushing or pouncing, especially on each other or even a mock charge or two. And when it becomes too much, running away is always an option. Being out with their mother is the best way to learn about everything around them. All of the skills they learn must be perfected before the end of the summer season. Nyane will teach them what to do and how to do it especially when it comes to finding prey while avoiding danger. Excess prey is stashed in burrows for leaner times. Enthusiasm for fresh meat is a key survival instinct. While lots of animals eat meat, cats are one of a handful of mammals that must eat it in order to survive. This is because their short guts do not digest plant proteins very well and they need essential amino acids that other animals do not need. These cats do not often require water. The moisture from their prey is enough to satisfy their thirst. As the kittens grow, the mother begins to refuse suckling and the kittens become more reliant on hunted food. With time, the family becomes less inclined to share food and mealtimes are competitive affairs. The kittens must become more and more prepared for their solitary life that lies ahead of them in the wild. Once the breeding season is over, prey will become more scarce as seasons change. Around five months old, the kittens leave their mother and begin a new solitary life of their own. A few months later, and the female is completely alone once more. Chances are very good that she will meet up with a male black-footed cat and mate again in the spring. If she does, she will once again usher in a new generation of Southern Africa's smallest, most secretive cat species, the black-footed cat. <laughs>